Scripture Time with Lizzie. Thank you so much for tuning in to read the Word of God with me again today. I pray that the Almighty God's grace shall be evidently felt and seen in our lives in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we are reading Matthew chapter 12 from verse 1 to 50. Ah, greetings to everyone who tuned in from Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, WhatsApp, and Instagram to watch this video. I pray your labor of love shall not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we read today's Bible chapter, please let us pray. How righteous and awesome Father, we thank and glorify your holy name for your grace that is sufficiently available for us. May your name be forever glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in every area where your children have sinned against you, please not have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. And as we have come together to study your word, O oh God, please speak to us in a new dimension. Help us, O oh God, with the right understanding of your word. And may our eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Please bless us with fresh blessings this day in the name of Jesus. And at the end of this day, may we have full cause to glorify your holy name. Thank you, Righteous Father, for answering all our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Now let us read Matthew chapter 12. At that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were at hungry, and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, the disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, have ye not read what David did when he was on and hungry, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God and did eat the children, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests? Or have ye not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you, that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Ye would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath day. And when he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered, and they asked him, saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days, that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Then saith he to the man, Stretch forth thine hand, and he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold, my servants, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall shew judgments to the Gentiles. He shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break. And smoke flax shall he not quench, till he send forth judgment unto victory, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw, and all the people were amazed, and said, Is not this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. 
himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man? Then he will spoil his house. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me is scattereth abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. He that make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruits. Full generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give accounts thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the hearts of the heads. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it for she came from the uttermost parts of the hearts to hear the word of Solomon and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. May the Almighty God bless the reading of his word and grant us the right understanding of his word in the name of Jesus. Please, let's not just read God's word for reading's sake, but let's seek to understand, which is why we have the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and our right helper to talk to. So let's always ask the Holy Spirit to grant us the perfect understanding of God's word. I pray the Lord will continue to help each and every one of us in Jesus' name. And may He grant us the hearts to receive his word and to do according to God's will in Jesus name. Amen.
Thank you all so much for reading the word of God with me again today. Please come again tomorrow as we shall be reading Matthew chapter 13. And to him who is able to keep us from falling, I put us all in his care. May he continue to protect and guide each and every one of us. May we not fall both spiritually, physically, mentally, maritally, and in every areas. In the name of Jesus, may we continue to stand firm even until the last day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I remain your again, Elizabeth. Do have a wonderful and pleasant day ahead. God bless each and every one of us. Bye.